uh, good, good evening to everyone today we will discuss a topic that is a coefficient of determination coefficient of determination and adjusted coefficient of determination nothing but r square and adjusted r square so previous classes we know uh, we came to know that uh, how we can estimate the parameters and how we test it whether the particular variable is significant or insignificant then uh, we will discuss that uh, the coefficient of determination that is r square and adjusted r square the introduction part of that coefficient determination and uh, adjusted coefficient determination first we need to understand what is mean by coefficient of determination the, what is meaning of coefficient determination so the proportion of variation in dependent variable explained by independent variable the proportion of variation in dependent variable explained by independent variable or variables for example if you take into account any regression analysis so there are two variables there is a dependent variable and independent variables so here whatever the changes or what are the variation in dependent variable due to change in independent variables okay so the r square will be explain the variation in dependent variable explained by independent variables independent variables so the r square is the explanatory power so on the base of r square only we can say that so if the r square value is more we can say the exploratory power is more and exploratory power is a good the coefficient of determination is denoted by small r square and capital r square so the coefficient determination is denoted by small r square and capital r square so small r square will be used for sample data capital r square will be used for population data then adjusted coefficient determination is also similar to the coefficient of determination but it denoted by adjusted nothing but r bar square r bar square so the, the name under and adjusted r square and adjusted r square that is r bar square r bar square then uh, here in simple and multiple regression we need to calculate the both r square and adjusted r square for example when you are estimating that regression analysis or when you are doing the regression analysis we need to estimate the r square value and adjusted r square value so how how we can estimate that is a how to estimate the r square and r uh, capital r square and small r square or adjusted r square so here we will come to know that uh, after uh, after completion this class only how we can calculate or how we can estimate the r square value so before knowing that we came to know that we come we need to know that what is mean by simple regression and multiple regression so on the base of the type of regression only we can estimate the r square value so for the see the simple regression the simple regression is nothing but there is a only one dependent variable one independent variable that is called one dependent variable y predicted from one independent variable for example when we have the two variables of independent variable 1 and dependent variable 1 we can write the equation that is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus epsilon so this is a independent variable this is a dependent variable so in multiple regression one dependent variable y predicted from set of independent variable that is called number of independent variable maybe it may be more than one it may be two it may be three it may be four it may be six seven eight or nine ten also we can take more also so that is case y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 plus dot 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 beta k x k nothing but up to n number of variables plus epsilon so here this is the only one dependent variable the x 1 x 2 up to x k there is a independent variables so next year we need to understand what is r and r square so there is some difference between r and r square value so as we studied in the previous semester r that is a coefficient of correlation or correlation is denoted by r or coefficient of correlation is denoted by r small r or capital r so here the correlation is the study the magnitude of the relationship between the dependent and other uh, the best linear combination of predicted variables for example see uh, 
in the regression analysis we can study the magnitude of the relationship nothing but how much changes in x variable how much it can changes to the y variable nothing but so if something is changes in y variable due to changes in x variable nothing but if something is happened in the x variables how much it can affect on the y variable then we can study that magnitude of the relationship between the dependent and best linear combination of predictive variables the dependent variable and independent variable and i as i told you that uh, r square is a proportion of variation x uh, y accounted by for the the set of independent variable nothing but the r square is nothing but the proportion the r the variation in dependent variable explained by independent variables independent variables so by you by calculating the uh, r we can calculate the r square also for example when we have to estimate the r value for example if there is a simple simple to if you take two uh, variables for example x variable y variable if you calculate the r value that is called coefficient of correlation on the basis of coefficient correlation we can measure the r square also that is r into r that is called r square for example if you take into account if r r is equal for example if you take your income and your expenditure for example uh, or else uh, if you take into account uh, the r value is 0.6 0.6 if there is a correlation between the your income and your expenditure that is 0.6 it means that 60% correlation between the two variables but we need to know that somebody will give sometimes they will give the r value so find out the r square value so r is equal to 0.6 then we need to find the r square value 0.6 into 0.6 how much 0.36 that is called 36% of variation explained by independent variable nothing but 36% of variation in dependent variable explained by independent variable so r square we can calculate r into r simple this is a simple format so here in a regression analysis for example how we can calculate the r value r square value so r square formula is equal 1 minus 1 minus summation of yi minus y cap i whole square divided by summation of yi minus y bar whole square simple in term you see here we can write r square is equal 1 minus sum of e square by sum of y square sum of e square by sum of y square nothing but sum of errors square divided by sum of estimated value square so sometimes they will ask the r square is equal to 1 minus rss by tss nothing but residual sum of square by total sum of squares residual r is nothing but residual nothing but errors error sum of squares nothing but what after calculating the uh, y value uh, we have the y values whatever they will give the y, y variable so we need to calculate the y cap value that is called estimate value so in order to get the residuals so we need to calculate the errors that is called y is equal to y cap then we will get the residual values so after getting the residual values we need to square it so after squaring the errors we need to calculate the, all the values of the errors that is called sum of or residual sum of squares rss here r values lies between 0 and 1 nothing but 0 to 1 so here the r values always lies between 0 to 1 99.9 percent .9%. sometimes the value may be negative but it can be treated as a zero it can be treated as a zero in some cases extreme cases so 0 0.001 percent cases only the r square will come negative so 99.99 percent .99 the r square value will come only 0 to 1 then uh, the main part uh, come to this that is uh, how to calculate the r square in simple regression simple regression sometimes they will give that uh, values like this demand and price as we discussed in the previous class also with the, uh, this data we have taken so if they will give the two variables we need to calculate the r square value what is the relationship between the y and x so we need to write like this equation y is equal to a plus bx plus e so on the base of this in order to get a value we need to calculate y bar minus b bar x then in order to get the b value the coefficient value summation of uh, y minus y y bar into x minus x bar divided by summation of x minus x bar whole square so when you get the values of and you can substitute in the equation you will get a and b values so 
so then we got that v value beta 0 value and beta 1 that is called intercept value and slope value then we need to already we know that how we can estimate the b value and a value so for the format purpose only i told you that i am telling that so in estimating the parameters in excel for example are we estimate the values in the uh, by using the software that is excel so i have taken the data data this data so i have calculated the r square value here see 0 0.869569 and adjusted r square is 0 0.835 for example if you want to do manually how we can get that r square value and adjust that is the main question most of the students are getting a problem that how we can estimate the r square you know manually sometimes they didn't know that how it comes the r square how it comes then i i can explain in the next slide see 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 this value already told you that on the base of this value this uh, option value intercept value this option value and uh, this intercept value and the option value so and after that we need to check whether the model is goodness of it or not that is the main question arises in the any research paper or any article or any uh, uh, courses also see so on the base of r square only we will say that the model is goodness of it or not so on the base of r value only we will come to know that whether the model is good or not or goodness of it or not so as i told you that r square formula is 1 minus summation of yi minus y cap i square by summation yi y bar whole square or simple 1 minus sum of e square by sum of y square so as i told you that one is nothing but as usual you can take one r square then what is sum of e square nothing but error squares error square nothing but when you are estimating the values see after getting this value only you will you need to estimate the this is the observed value see y is nothing but here the value is y 175 80 like this this value i have taken here this is y value then we need to add, uh, predict the value that is called estimate value so how 90 and 70 80 will come when see when you are substituting these values a and b values in the equation you will get you will get see for example here x value if you substitute x value in the see x is nothing but how much here five five so if you substitute uh, the five here you are going to get how much you are going to get 70 see y is equal 140 minus 10 into 5 so let, later on you can one uh, is equal 140 10 into 5 50 sorry yeah 90 will come so 140 minus 50 90 so the estimate value is 90 see here See the predictor value is 90. So when you substitute the x values in the uh, estimate equation, you will get predicted values, predicted values only. So in order to get error value, so this is actual value, this is predicted value. So for example, on the base of value, uh, on the base of values only, we predict these values, but actual value is this much. We need to compare whether is there any difference between our actual actual value and predicted value. See. Here our actual value is 100, when the price is there, that, that much, the demand will be this, this much, for example. But when you predict the values, the 90, there is a difference between is 10. Okay. So 90 minus, uh, sorry, 100 minus 90, 10. The residual is nothing but error. 75 minus 70, 5. 80 minus 80, 0. 70 minus 80 minus 10. Like this, this is our errors. So after getting errors, what we need to get? Error squares, error square. See here, error e square. That is called error square. 10 into 10, 100. 5 into 5, 25. 0 into 0, 0. Minus 10 into minus 10, plus 100. Minus 10 into 10, minus uh, plus 100. So 5 into 5, 25, like this. So when you have this all the sum of square, error squares, you are going to get 450. 450. So that is why sum of e square is. 450 then sum of y square what is y square here small y square so y square nothing but whatever we have the y value so the total value is the the total sum of y is equal to 80 800 so when you get uh, average value that is uh, 80 so in order to get a uh, small y nothing but mean deviation uh, the deviation deviating from the mean actual value is deviating from the mean is 20 100, 100 minus 80 
ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఇంటూ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ మైనస్ ఎయిటీ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ ఫైవ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఎయిటీ ఇంటూ ఎయిట్ మై ఎయిటీ మైనస్ ఎయిటీ జీరో జీరో ఇంటూ జీరో జీరో సో లైక్ దిస్ వీ కెన్ ఎస్టిమేట్ ద వై స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూస్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ క్యాలిక్యులేటింగ్ ద వై స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూస్ వీ టు ఎస్టిమేట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ వై స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ సమ్ ఆఫ్ వై స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ సో ఆ మోస్ట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ వై స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ ఇస్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ సో వీ ఆర్ సీ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ వై స్క్వేర్ ఇస్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఫిఫ్టీ సో ఆఫ్టర్ గెటింగ్ దట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఈ స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ సమ్ ఆఫ్ వై స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ వీ టు సబ్స్ట్రూట్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్ములా ఇన్ ద ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఫార్ములా దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ వన్ మైనస్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఈ స్క్వేర్ బై సమ్ ఆఫ్ వై స్క్వేర్ దట్ ఇస్ ఫోర్ ఫిఫ్టీ బై త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ ఫిఫ్టీ సో యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ వన్ మైనస్ మైనస్ వెన్ యూ క్యాన్సల్ ఇట్ త్రీ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫిఫ్టీ బై త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ ఫిఫ్టీ యూ విల్ గెట్ జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ త్రీ జీరో ఫోర్ వన్ త్రీ జీరో ఫోర్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ క్యాలిక్యులేటింగ్ దిస్ వన్ సో యూ కెన్ సబ్స్ట్రూ నథింగ్ మచ్ యూ కెన్ సబ్స్ట్రాక్ట్ దిస్ వాల్యూ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ యూ ఆర్ గోయిన్ టు గెట్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ సో ద ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఈజ్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్ నైన్ ఫోర్ నైన్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ సో వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు దర్సంటేజ్ టర్మ్ ఎయిటీ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ ఎయిటీ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ సో లైక్ దిస్ వీ కెన్ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ మాన్యువల్లీ బట్ వెదర్ వీ నీడ్ టు చెక్ వెదర్ అవర్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ రైట్ ఆర్ రాంగ్ కంపేర్ విత్ ద సాఫ్ట్వేర్ సి ఇయర్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఈజ్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ సో ఇయర్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ ఈజ్ జీరో పాయింట్ నైన్ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ ద సేమ్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ సేమ్ మాన్యువల్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఓకే ఇస్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ నో హౌ వీ కెన్ ఎస్టిమేట్ ద ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఇన్ ద సింపుల్ రిగ్రేషన్ హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ మౌనిక అండ్ మహేందర్ సార్ ఎస్ దెన్ ఇయర్ దెన్ విల్ కమ్ టు నో దట్ హౌ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఇన్ మల్టిపుల్ రిగ్రేషన్ see there is a some difference between the multiple regression simple simple regression. that's why i told you that what is the difference between simple and multiple regression so here in the multiple regression how we can calculate for example they will give the data y x1 and x2 on the basis of x1 x2 and y variable we can calculate the r square value so before estimating the r square value we need to estimate the coefficient values beta 1 beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 and error value so here it should be placed yeah see after before estimate r square value you need to estimate beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 and errors so this is uh, results of uh, excel see here so we need to estimate that uh, r square in multiple regression for example uh, see here what is sum of e square we need to check the see this is sum of e square nothing but in the multiple regression that is 364 364 364.64 point here we need to take then sum of y square is same okay then if you when you cancel it 364.21 364 calculator is visible for you
then you are going to get 0 0.1055 1055 1055 0 0.1055 so when you subtract this values from 1 you are going to get uh, 0 0.89 Four 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 four. So minus one. This is uh, zero point eight nine four four. The on top multiple here it will come eighty nine point four four. Eighty nine point four four. See whether our answer is right or wrong with uh, uh, Excel. See here. Yeah. The R square is 0 0.8944. So we can calculate in multiple equations the same. But here, uh, the errors, the errors will be different. Nothing but sum of errors will be different. because so there are two variables can interact with the, the, the both variables can influence the dependent variable. So that's why the errors may be different and predictor values also different. Then comes to the next part is that is a adjusted coefficient of determinant. That is called adjusted R square. Adjusted R square. So the adjusted R square formula is R square is equal to one minus into one minus R square into one n minus one by n minus k. R. See this. You can follow this one or this one. No problem. Adjusted R square is equal to one minus. 1, 1 minus r square into n minus k by n minus p minus k. So here what is r square? As we know that uh, sample r square, nothing but whatever we get the r square value, that is r square value. n is nothing but number of pump, uh, sample, nothing but number of observations. Okay. Here p is nothing but number of predictors, nothing but number of independent variables, number of independent variables. That is because sometimes we can use k also. Instead of p, we, we can use k. So simple, this is very simple, uh, 1 minus into 1 minus r square into n minus k by n minus, sorry, n minus 1 by n minus k. So we can see how to calculate, how to calculate the adjust r square in simple regression, SR is nothing but simple regression. So adjust r square, as we uh, calculated that uh, 1 minus, 1 minus, 1 minus r square n minus k, see instead of r square, so in the sample regression we got earlier 0 0.8695. So simple, we substitute here R square value, N minus K, number of sample observation is only we have taken 10, 10 minus 1 and N minus K, N minus K. How many variables are in the equation 2? Because two, uh, dependent variable and independent variables. Okay. Then as it is, you can take 1 minus. So if you, uh, you can take as it is also now, no problem. 10 minus 1, 9, 8 minus, uh, 10 minus 2, 8. Then as it is, you can take 1 minus. So you can take this one also so we, you can cancel 9 by 8 9 by 8 you will get 1.125 then after that you can take one one as it is you can one then one minus 0 0.8695 how much will come 0 0.1305 will come when you subtract this value from one and after getting the values you can multiply with this number one minus 0 0.1305 into 1.125 so when you multiply this one 0 0.1305 into 1.125, you will get 0 0.168, 0 0.168. Then after getting this value only, if you subtract from 1, so 1 minus 0 0.168, you will get 0 0.853, 0 0.853, 0 0.853. This is a adjusted R square. Adjusted. So let's see that whether our adjusted is R square right or wrong with respect to simple regression. Here, simple regression. See, we will check. 0 0.8531, See, and the see the adjust R square in simple regression because only one variable we have used. See here, yeah, adjust R square is 0 0.8532, 8532. So here, 8531, which is very similar, nothing but similar value. 0 0.853, nothing but 85 percent of the variation explained by 
independent variable okay the next one how to calculate the adjust r square in multiple regression multiple regression multiple mr is nothing but multiple regression so same formula but we need to uh, represent r square is multiple regression value that is why we got multiple regression r square is 0.8944 so simple here n minus 1 10 minus 1 n minus k nothing but number of predictor variables three variables then one one so you can take as it is one one so 10 minus 1 9 10 minus 3 7 9 by 7 so here one one you can take 1 minus 0 0.8944 if you subtract this value from 1 you will get 0 0.1056 so then you cancel it 9 by 7 you will get 0 1.1285 1 1.1285 then after getting this value if you multiply this one uh, 0 0.1056 into 1.285 you will get 0 0.1356 0 0.1356 so after getting this value if you subtract from 1 or 1 minus 0 0.1356 you will get 0 0.8 0 0.864 0 0.864 so which is 86.4% 86 86.4% so then it is also we need to check whether our answer is right or wrong with in excel excel results 86.4 see here this is a multiple regression because we have taken the two variables variable one and variable two these are dependent variable two independent variables see adjust r scale is how much 0 0.8 8 0.8642 so here 0 0.8642 So here 86 uh, 0 0.864 so if you take consider the decimal also it will come to so no, in, even though no problem that is 86.4 percent 86.4 percent so how we can interpret these values in the regression analysis that is the main part so how we can inter interpret that these results for example here r square is this much 89.44 so r just r square is 86.4 so here in the multiple regression we can use r just r square in whereas in simple regression we can use r square value so when you are using when you are using the simple regression so you may be represent r square value so when you are doing a multiple regression analysis you need to represent both r square value and adjusted r square but most of the researchers they will concentrate on adjusted r square adjusted r square so it means that uh, 86 percent of the variation in demand quantity demand explained by two variables that's the price and income so as as whatever we have taken demand variable and price variable and income variable because the 86 percent of the variation in demand explained by independent variables such as price and income so remaining uh, percentage that is a 13.6 percent which are explained that is called unadjusted r square or unadjusted uh, un r square value or unadjusted r square value it means that which are that is the remaining 13.6 percent of the variation explained by other variables which are not considered in the model which are not considered in the model nothing but it may be taste it may be preference it may be substitute goods and other complementary goods okay the remaining part that is called 13.6 uh, percent of the variation explained by other variables which are not considered in the regression model such as uh, price of substitute goods or price of complementary goods, taste, preference. Like that, we can uh, then next one, the last part that is the properties of R square. What is the properties of R square? See, R square is always positive. So, there, as I told you that the r square value is always positive that is 0 to 1 okay always be positive that is a 0 to 1 but in some cases as i told you that in extreme cases it may become negative also it may become negative values so for example if r square is negative its value is taken as 0 when some in some extreme cases if r square is negative we will create that that value is 0 
So as I told you that the R square value lies between zero to one, zero to one. So if the R square value is very close to one, the model is very, the model is goodness of fit. If R square is near to zero, nothing but R square value is near to zero, the model is weak. The model is weak. The model is weakened. So if the R square value is more than uh, zero point five or zero point six, like that. So the the model the the model of the the goodness of it is moderate, and uh, the R square value is always greater than adjusted R square. For example, as we have seen that adjusted uh, R square value is always greater than adjusted R square value. See, I can show you that R square value always greater than adjusted R square. This is a very important question. Sometimes they will ask question. R square value is always greater than adjusted r square see i will show you that see here uh, in simple regression r square is 89.44 but whereas adjust r square c in simple regression yes sir 0.83 oh, sorry 0.853 here there there is a 0 0.89 0.89 0.89 0.89 but here 0 0.853 here the r square value is greater than adjusted r square for example if you take into account the in the multiple regression the same the r square value is greater than adjusted r square value in our multiple regression also adjust r square value is always greater than adjusted r square value so this is the properties of r square value See, uh, sometimes they will ask the question that uh, I will show you that in the UGS net consult question. See, see here if if R is equal to R is equal to zero point six and sorry and find out the find out the find out the whisper value. How we can find this value? Simple R into R. That is 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.6. How much will come? 0 0.36. 6 into 6. 0 0.36. Okay. So like this, this kind of questions will ask in the UGC net and set exam. And uh, for example, if you take into account Sometimes they will ask the question with the different. See. See, if R X Y. B theta X Y is equal to 0 0.6. And b pi x is equal to 0 0.8. So find out the r square value. Find out the r square value. Sometimes they will ask the question that is the relationship between the uh, some r r x for example. Sometimes they will ask the question such kind of this if the r x y is equal to 0 0.6 and r y x is equal to 0 0.8, find out the r square value. This is what r into r that is, we can see that as I told you that r square is equal to r square r square is equal to r into r. As I told you that r into r this. Uh, R X Y into X Y X that is called C 0 0.6 into 0 
8 then the answer is uh, 6 into 8 how much 0 0.48 0 0.48 nothing but there is a 48 percent of the variation 48 percent of the variation okay 48 percent the variation so this kind of questions will ask in the UGC net and set and further PG entrance of the central universities also they will ask the questions like this. So, so thank you uh, everyone. And if you like this video, please share, subscribe to get more updates. Thank you once again.